Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be sharing with you the top 3 effects that I use to create an AMV. Recently, I have disembarked my journey as an AMV creator, but on that note, I'm still a beginner. Probably most of you haven't seen my AMV that I've been sharing on social media, but it's okay, I will be sharing with you in the bigger platforms later on in the future. So what is an AMV? An AMV stands for Anime Music Video, which you basically combine an anime scene and a song together. In order to create this, I use Sony Vegas Pro 16 and an additional plugin called Sapphire Plugins. So let's not waste our time and start this video. Alright, now we're back in Sony Vegas Pro 16 and here as you can see, I have ready the clip that I will be using as example for today's video. So for the first example I'll be showing to you is called, the effect is called Twixter Pro. Twixter Pro is used to achieve cinematic slow motion effect. So first let's watch the clip before, uh, before we put on the effects. It is slow motion, it is slow motion, but it's not that smooth. So I will, you will understand after I show you. So you will want to go to video effects and search for Twixter Pro. And then, but first you go to the clip and right click on it and go to properties. You want to disable resample here. And then you change the playback, playback rate to four. Press okay. And then you just want to drop this. This is the settings that I use in order to achieve these cinematic slow motion effects. So if you want to jot down this, then go ahead. So, so now let's watch it after we put on this. All right, now you see how fluid and slow motion that is, and slow and slow that is. You see, you see. All right, so. That's basically it. And then for the for the next clip here is Sasuke's eye. I will be putting on the ghost shakes effects. So what you want to do is right click on the empty timeline and insert a new video track. And then what you want to do is copy this clip and then paste it on the new video track. <laughs> uh, this. Okay. So now what you want to do is fade out the clip. And then you go to pen and crop. What you want to do is go to the last keyframe and basically zoom in. So you, so you want to change this to fast fade and go this. You want to change it to slow fade. And then for the effects, we're gonna search for the effects called S shakes. It's right here. Then you just want to go and drag the track this and if you want to jot down this too then you can so for the tweaking here you go to amplitude and click on animate you go to the last keyframe and change the value of amplitude to 2 and then you want to change this to fast fade and this will be slow fade so that's it for the ghost shakes this is how the ghost shakes looks like it's like a ghost appearing up here in front of you. So I'm just gonna mute this to show you how it doesn't look like we have the effects. It is, yeah, it's just like that. So now we turn on the effect here. Yeah, for the last one is the zoom shake effect. For the zoom shake, in order to do that, you need to go to, you need to find for as there more curve. Normal curve is here, you want to drag default one to the clip and then you want to tweak this thing uh, so I'm just going to show you how you go to wrap X and change it to reflect and go this to reflect and then what you want to do is basically go to shift Y and click on animate so then you want to go to the first keyframe first keyframe here, you want to change the value to 0 0.350 and then you skip another you skip 3 frame, you change the value of shift y to negative 0 0.120 and 
and then you go to the, and then you skip another fourth another four frame one two three four you change the value of shift void to 0, 0.00 <laughs> okay <laughs> 0 0.08 oh okay and then for the last you skip another four you go negative 0 0.010 and then you drag it to the last keyframe and change it to 0 and then you want to tweak the z distance here you want to go to the first frame and then you change it to 0 0.1 oh i forgot to click on animate you animate this and then you change it to 0 0.1 okay there you go and then you want to skip 5 frames 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and you go 0 0.9 and then you go another 4 1, 2, 3, 4 and change it to 1 and then what you want to do is go to the last keyframe and change it to negative no no to 0 0.1 I'm sorry about that so that's basically the zoom shape effects Alright, so this is how it looks like. You see, it's better if you do it with multiple clips, uh, one after another. So that's uh, the three effects that I use in most of my AMV right here. The first one is called the Twixter Pro, the second one is called the Go Shakes, and the last one is called the Zoom Shake. I'm gonna go through it again. Here is the Twixter Pro, here's the Go Shakes. And the last one is the zoom shape. And so that's it from this for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.